So ribeye, my 1968 Camaro has come a long way. This video is gonna show from the small block Chevy build with it no nitrous, with a little bit of nitrous, taking that motor out, putting an LS in it, putting twin turbos on that, going to the track, getting kicked out of the track. Last year, I was trying to hit a five second pass. Didn't end up happening before I blew up that engine, which is in this video, which is kind of funny. Took that engine out, put a new engine in it with built internals, ordered a stage five transmission from Jake's Performance and put all that in there. Now that leads us up to heading to the track. Finally achieved that five second pass. Sit back and enjoy the history, where this thing started and where it is now. So let's jump right into it. Got the shocks going in, the four links already in. We're gonna throw a little bit more nitrous at it. 900 PSI. Also, you guys are gonna have to bear with me a little bit because when I first started making videos, I did not enjoy talking to a camera, but I think I'm getting a little bit better now. So just hang in there. I promise it gets better as the video goes on. We're gonna on. replace the 100 shot jets, 180 shot jets. So so I bought a 2000 GMC two wheel drive pickup truck. And it had this beaut in it, which is an LQ4. Finally the day that the small block Chevy is coming out. This is what's going in there now. These are 66, 62 BS Racing China Turbo. So today we are going to put the motor in. All right, we got the motor sitting in. Got some redneck engineering with ratchet strap going around the fender. So I'm gonna set these turbos. Set it just like this. I'm gonna try to fire this thing up. So yeah, I've drove it around a little bit and it is unreal. It is way more than I expected. And I've only got into about seven or eight pounds of boost, except for that one time I did hit wastegate pressure, which is 12 PSI. I don't know how that happened. Today, we are taking this thing to the track. Let's see what this thing can run. Again. You're just gonna send it. Just gonna send it. <laughs> Got a good talking to The guy came no, by and just said that you better get a roll style. bar in there. You got to put it on the trailer tonight. So we got kicked out. All right, guys, we are at the track again this week. And what are we about to do? Put the spicy spring in. We're putting spicy springs in it. That should be roughly about 100 more horse. And those two things should equal a five second pass. On the wheelie. There it is. I just got on it and it's making a noise. Making a hell of a popping noise. Ah, oh, that sounds so bad. That's the lower end of the engine, dude. No. All right, well, I guess we're pulling a motor this weekend and seeing what's wrong with it. Got a little help today and we're gonna pull this thing out of there and see what the issue is. <laughs> that, that ain't any good. That is what is left of that rod parry. Yeah, I guess we did find the limit of stock internals. The moral of the story here. 780 horsepower is the limit of a 6.0 liter 1000 GMC pick em up truck. All right guys, welcome back. Finally, it is the day to put this motor back together. So I called up Texas Speed and I told him I wanted to make about 1500 horsepower. Wiseco Kingston, a Lunati Crane Texas Speed rod. Hi 
guys, we finally got the transmission back from Jake's performance. We're gonna set the motor in, get the transmission in there, and the plan is to fire this thing up tonight. So here we go. All right, brother, she's in there. No wonder it's so fast. You got yeah. the cleaner valley cover. I am pretty pumped about the cleanest valve cover. I'm not gonna lie, I went full fanboy on that one, but I have no shame in that. Are you nervous? Because I'm very nervous. I ain't gonna <laughs> All right. Guys, we're going for a drive finally after getting the transmission fluid level right. So hopefully this thing runs good. So far, so good, guys. Running good, sounds really good. All right, guys, we're taking this thing to the track for a test and tune night. Over the winter, I got a stage five transmission put in there with the trans brake. We had some computer issues. I had to send my computer back to Holly. We got that back. We had to rebuild the trans again because the fluid level on my end. Plan is show up there, put the right tune in it, and send it down the track. And we're going to run that five finally. You got no deal. Always test your tune stuff. Alright guys, finally the first pass. We got the two step set at 3500 and we're gonna have a trans brake launch this is the track for the first time. Let's see if we can get that five. Here we go. Right, we got a stage three round, the old rep too late racing machine. Machine and machine. Look at it, that felt freaking nuts. Uh, no, 642, not as fast as I thought. We're gonna turn the two step up to maybe like 3800 and we're gonna try again, see if we can get closer down to the 60 mark. guys so i haven't seen the launch video but it felt a lot better and i don't think it spun quite as much but it did run a 637 which is a little bit better at 111. about a little wheelie oh yeah there's a little mini one wasn't it yeah a little baby wheelie a little bit tighter front end it'll plant the tire a little better and it'll get a better 60 foot so here we go Four three sixty foot, but a six, six twenty seven to the yeah. eighth huh? at 113. Guys, welcome back. We are taking this thing to the track tonight. Battling with transmission issues all year long. I finally got it figured out. So we're gonna take it to the track and we're finally gonna hit that five. So here we go. We got some help today. Let's go. <laughs> Six oh four. <laughs> you got oh. the solid, the solid foot wheelie too. No yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> One three five sixty foot, which is the best I've ever had by a whole tenth. <laughs> Six oh four. That is best by yeah. far the best eighth at one hundred and fifteen. Dude, it came up. So the front tires did come off the ground. Oh my god. Yeah. Big oh time. my god. Yeah. All right. Round two, I'm gonna turn the two step up to 3,500. Another 100 RPM is probably enough. I don't want to come back on my ass, oh, so 3,500. 3,550. 3,550, <laughs> all right, I'll settle with 3,550. 
I want to see a 24 inch wheelie. No, <laughs> that is not an ideal situation. <laughs> Much suck. Maybe too much two step. Maybe taking it back down to 35. Who's the 50 that pushed it? Yeah, it was, a, it was a 50 yard. So, right after this clip, they called last pass of the night. I was thinking I was going to get a couple more passes in, but we set the two step back to 3,500 and got in the right lane because obviously the left lane wouldn't hold anything. And we were just praying for the best pass yet. And this is it right here. Freaking, we didn't have any problems halfway down track where I had to let out. I don't know what exactly was going on, but 595 at 117, 117. miles an hour. Damn, Woo! it's there actually it fast now. Man, after basically two years of fighting this train, well, this year I'm fighting the transmission all yeah. freaking year long, and then all last year was stock bottom in, stock trans. Running a 620 was still pretty good on stock bottom in, stock yeah. trans. But and finally, now, hitting now that here we five are. after talking about it for two years now, finally, 595 at 117 mile an hour. How many hours did that take to get I don't 595? How many I hours of work? <laughs> I, I can't even count that high, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Finally, the five second pass video. After two years of trying to get this video done, we got it done. Definitely thanks to these two guys for helping me video and helping me tune. That has been the end of this week's video though. Come back next week, see what we tear up. I'll see you later, guys.